saw this gentleman leave my store with a box of product. There was multiple associates of mine telling him to stop. Can we move he's, this he's in somewhere so no one gets in trouble because the police are circling? And that is a stripper with a taser. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to DOJ. Jumping in, doing some civilian criminal activity with Don, Ron, and Finnegan back there, who is smoking a cigarette, I believe. No idea what the plans are up to today. We're kind of just going around and seeing what it is. I kind of feel like I want to use a gun today, but then again, no one has really pissed us off, so I really don't know if that's going to work or be, excuse me, or be possible. I swear to God, every time I do an intro, I always like have a hiccup or burp or something. Oh, the VU is now open. Come stop by for a drink and a dance. That's perfect timing because I think the last time we were in with Don Ron, I was trying to buy a portion of the VU. So we can le at least go down there. Maybe we can see if there's uh, someone that's working right now just to see if we can, or not, uh, we obviously know someone's working, but someone who's like an owner that we can go down there and see if we can possibly try to get a little portion of that shit. Uh, so let's go ahead and see. Hey, you see that the VU is open now? Fuck my life. I do. Okay, that uh, most likely is where we're going. We can get some drinks and then I can see if there's someone working so I can see if I can try to get a portion of that business like last time. How's your day been? Oh, you know, like peaches and cream. What is, can you explain what that I means? I don't know. I don't know. Does uh, peaches and cream constitute how you've been in a day? Yeah, you know, peachy. Oh, peachy and then creamy. And cream Have you been creamy? Is, yeah. So on top of your peaches, uh, you've had cream. That's that's good. That sounds yummy. Yeah. Sounds like a fun <laughs> no. day you've had there. Yeah, must have must have stopped snack. by the Castro district or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. He doesn't understand that was a San Francisco reference but also okay yeah anyways if you know you know if not you don't that's fine whatever if anyone's from you san know. francisco you know what's up no go ahead please tell me oh do you hear all the uh, six million sirens i do okay i'm a little concerned oh my god <laughs> holy shit car hopefully we don't run into clean. it what good deep my car looks super clean is that what you said yeah. Oh, well, thank you. I washed it last first time yesterday. How is that even possible? I always have my car super clean. Nah, don't lie to yourself. I do. That's just how it operates and works. No. It, I'm telling you. Relax. You're fired up. No. Nope. And you're fired. <laughs> see, see, funny. You see what you did with my plate there? We are going to see them. right in front of you. Oh, shit. I was about to run that red light, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he heard me. He's coming back for me. Do you know what's going on by chance? I don't. Someone did something. Someone shit in someone uh, Cheerios. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, you said you shit in someone's Cheerios? I did. Oh, that's kind of weird. weird. All right, let's see what's going on. Oh, are they going to the VU, bro? Oh, my God. I think he is. No, no. I guess not. Uh, no. Yeah, no. Oh shit! Oh shit! I got the whole. Oh, I almost just can't. I'm, I've got a, Jesus! Hey, I just wanted to apologize for almost hitting you right there. I didn't see you. You're kind of dark on the yeah. wall. I, I, I kind of left like my toes fine. the way they are. All right. Well, then maybe pick a better spot than that one. Sorry. <laughs> can, I, can I help you? <laughs> almost Why do just they fucking killed them. Customers. I don't think that's how customer service works. Can I? I don't think you? she works Shut there, the does fuck. she? Oh, I don't on. fucking know. Get out of the car so I can turn it off. All right, we're here at the VU. It is popping right now. There's hella people here. Oh, did I just hear oh. someone get stabbed, bro? I think I... Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, um, shit. bro, hey! Yo, he's trying to take off. What are you doing? God damn it, you tackled the wrong person. What the fuck? God damn it. <laughs> oh, I didn't hit you. I didn't hit you. Well, that's obviously not the case as I'm laying face down Get on the, the ground. Up, I can't. Get I have to wait up, six then. seconds. Get the fuck up. <laughs> this is. There we go. Oh, fuck my life. You good, Mr. Ron? I'm good. Look what you've done, white shirt man. You got a lot of pissed off people here. That was fucking the dope. They all got pissed guns. Off people. Why don't you go ahead? Oh shit. Here. Oh, shit. Can we can we move she's, this she's in somewhere so no one gets in trouble because the police are circling and that is a stripper with a taser. What the fuck? Don't <laughs> worry about the, the, I mean, the, the yeah, look no touch watch. policy really exists. I guess sure. electroshock therapy. I, I, I got to call an ambulance or something. 
Yeah, there's a stop and just about All right. Uh, what happened? Oh, he stabbed him. Yeah, but why? I, I think he said that she assaulted him. Oh. Um, okay. I want this car. I'm gonna go deal with this car, light it oh, on fire, and leave it. They fire. shot! Maybe yeah, I got hit with a suppressed it. fucking yeah, pistol. Hey, uh. Hey. Hey. Are you good? I didn't right. mean to. Oh no, totally good. What, I get shot there, or what happened? Uh, I'm not sure. You okay, because I just collapsed. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. He got fucked up, see. Hey, Finnegan, uh, go with him and, we'll and see out. where he, uh, puts the car, because we could, we could get rid of this and do something with it after. Um, like, follow him? Hey. Just, uh, well, yeah, take your car. That way you can take him back here. That's your car, so give me the keys. Oh, Hey, crap. uh, Xander, there. they yes. want the car, so just get rid oh, of the body. thank you. In hey, the stay right In the foundry. Yeah, I'll take care of that. Okay, they're going right. to get rid of the body, but I want the car. Let me wipe this blood off here. <laughs> yep. Yep. That was not what I was expect. I heard someone get stabbed in this bitch, and I was like, what the fuck just happened, dude? Why are motherfuckers dying? We haven't even fucking... The day hasn't even started. Well, what a fuck. I didn't even got a drink yet, and people are getting stabbed. We're going back to dancing. Is that dancing with a taser? No, I'm going to put that back. Oh, okay. Don't shine. Oh, good. That's a great place for it. So no one's came in yet to serve any drinks or anything, so we're going to go out there. I would highly suggest... To them that they take the body that got stabbed inside because if not the air unit which i hear outside oh fuck literally walk inside for two seconds there's already cops out here god damn it and what are they gonna say about the body or who did it it is not gonna say anything no one it might have been uh what someone uh, shooting out here county medical is it county medical i sure hope not yeah, i don't know what you're talking about gunshots yeah, I didn't hear anything. Someone was stabbed, but that's it. Yep. And then the fucker ran off. Yep. See, just saved him with that one, because clearly no one was going to say shit prior to that. Hey, so wasn't this fantastic. the female you all were looking for, the 5150 subject? Oh, God, it always um, has to be. I think so. It always has yeah, to be related to some way, shape, or form, dude. Okay, so Finnegan just uh, texted me and said he's having some trouble with the cops. I'll be back in a second. I'm not sure if they got screwed over there or something of that nature, but clearly he's having some issues. He's also in my car, which is registered to me too, which is kind of fucked up <laughs> that it's going down possibly in my vehicle there, but I guess I there is your, uh, not much you could do. Associate attracted some unwanted attention, so... Yeah, I, I know. Think, he uh, just texted me. Is that who uh, is racing around right now with the cops following them? No, that's okay. something else. Um, our bull, other bull, he's, he's still got the thing, he's taking care of it, and then he's going to put the vehicle in a place for you, so... Okay, cool. Let us know where it goes. All right, sounds good. I appreciate it. No problem. All right, so Finnegan, I guess, somehow got in some shit with the cops. The other guy is still good, and he's out there. He's going to be able to drop the car off at the location for us. Uh, can, I, can I get a whiskey, please? Sure. On the rocks or straight? Uh, on the rocks. All right. Yeah, fuck just straight whiskey. That shit. Oh, oh God. That's literally right outside. Fuck my life. It never ends. I love it. Never. <laughs> like, holy shit. I love it. God damn it, dude. All right. Well, there was just now another shooting outside, so that's just fantastic. All righty. Here you go. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It'll be uh, $4 to register 271. All right, there you go. Appreciate it. Yep, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Anything else, just let me know. Will do. Okay, so I got my drink finally. They got the bartender behind the bar. I love when this place is like jumping and shit like that. It looks so much better than when it's just like bare and empty. Um, so Finnegan, we're still waiting for him to come back. Uh, hopefully it won't take him too long here because we have been waiting quite some time, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, okay. Oh, well, snap. Fuck, That's it's going sniper. down again. What the fuck? I just need to see now. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Uh, not winnable, I swear to God. What the fuck is going on out here? I'm trying to enjoy my whiskey, and everyone is just shooting their guns. That's a very good question, sir. Well, let's figure it out faster, God damn it, because this is a $4 cup of goddamn whiskey, and it doesn't have any bullets associated with it, okay? 
I don't want to take a fucking round right, through the goddamn. Hey, look who's talking. Like all right. Hey, like Merriweather, do me a favor. Person? Shut the fuck up, okay? How about that? You ever think about that? Go patrol the goddamn toilets for all I care. Holy shit, I can't. Watch out, excuse me. Yeah, well, I've been off duty before. God was damn not it. was expecting to come off duty and come down here and deal with fucking somebody shot. Oh, every bullshit. Time, Stab. All the time I open this, every time I open this place, someone gets hurt. That's a vanilla unicorn for you. It's, maybe. It's been oh, zero days since you. the last onboard fucking murder that's happened, probably. That is, that is true. You know what? Maybe it is me. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's you. <laughs> maybe you're the reason why everybody keeps dying when you open it up. God damn, dude. This is impossible to be here, here and to not have anyone fucking oh, okay. die. Like, holy shit, it's impossible. That's why know. you shouldn't Don't contract them. What the fuck? That in Group E6, you might as well have a whale stand outside. What the fuck? Well, Mr. Ron, why don't you create a security service? I mean, if you want to hire Finnegan, I, you might as well just shoot yourself, though, in the end of the day, because <laughs> he's yeah, a piece uh, of shit. I could probably do a better security job. Probably. I could get a chihuahua to do a better job. I think a blind deaf monkey could do it. I'm pretty sure something job. with no arms would probably do better than that motherfucker. I'm still alive, but I think that's because of me. Oh my god, say, I haven't heard he this song in so long. Uh, yeah, for now. Oh. Like, fuck it, I'm gonna... oh, Finnegan, what the fuck? When'd you huh. get back? I've been here for quite some time. Oh god damn, this no, whiskey must be no, hitting you hard. You fuck just me. got back no. here. No. Don't Welcome back. expose me. What the fuck the happened? What? Well, I. What if someone came in another... here and shot the place up? I'm just going to be dead I, on the floor. I was in the bathroom vomit. That was some whack shit. I don't give a shit. I pay you to not vomit, not be sick, not shit your pants, not shit at all, or piss. What the fuck I, I does this look like? You. Well, do better. Security alarm this is fucking your house, stupid. I head up there. It was some whack shit. Yeah, you're whack. We did a better job at protecting you, sir. Than yeah, no, he sucks. Hey, shut up. Sucks ass. I feel like I would have a better... <laughs> you like want to go? I'm going to go get a little gerbil to protect me, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. Talking about yeah. gerbils. I need to leave. Today. I've been here for a long time. Also, is there I someone that owns this that. bitch that works here? Because that's the whole I, reason the why hell? I came here. What You haven't done that uh, yet. No, I haven't done Rose. that. I'm waiting for you. Oh. You're looking for Rose Kindle. I, is she here? Well, I'm the. the uh, I can, she's advisor. on the way. Pretty sure she's outside. Oh, uh, okay. I, oh, I thought she was on the way. Can you? I know she left before. Paperwork? I'm gonna just double check and and make sure she's not here. I've been here for so long. Rose. Are you out here? Oh, that's a fancy car. Nope, not here. God damn, dude. I feel like I've lived in this fucking joint. I feel like I've lived here. What's going on? Move the fuck out of the way. Uh, shut up. Goddamn piece of shit. All right, no, she's not outside. Yeah, she was on Give the way. She left a little while ago. Okay. Help you with something? I just need to speak to her. Business el uh, entrepreneur to business entrepreneur. Gotcha. Yeah, you wouldn't understand. You're too poor. Look who's I, talking. <laughs> you just didn't haven't you, given me a paycheck. You got jump change. Uh, what? Uh, don't know. Her she's right there. Sorry, I still need <laughs> everyone off. Hey, look, she's right there. There she is. Yep, there she is. Hey, what's up? Uh, Miss Kendall, would you uh, mind having a talk with me, please? Sure, in the back. Sure. Well, that was simple. Thank you all for the help. I appreciate it. Yep. Those... Okay, so we can finally have a chat. I want to see if there's anything yeah, I can uh, get with this business. You know what oh. I'm saying? Oh, this is fancy. Is this professional enough? I mean, it's usually why people do private dances, you know? You know what they say? I don't. Okay. Miss Kendall, how you doing? Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so I'm here to discuss. Uh, I've recently came into a business venture with the owner of the casino where I took over 49%. Now, just to put your concerns at ease, I'm not looking for 49%. I'm looking for more like 5% of the vanilla unicorn business to amplify my overall revenue in the state of Los Santos. Okay. I'm willing to give you access to security guards, vehicles, weapons, money if you need it. I'm just dead. So how does this sound? I know it was very, uh, very blasé, but I've had zero time to think about my speech prior. <laughs> no, it's pretty, it sounds pretty good to me. If you give me two seconds, I can quickly have a phone call and I can see what we can do. Oh, yes. Run the numbers. Do do what you need to do. We'll be here. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. Okay, so we're probably going to get this. If I could just get 5% of this easy. bitch. 
Might that that was to, fairly easy. Might be able to get it even quicker if I... If I, uh... If uh, you want to do 5%, that's fine. That could have a total loan amount of a million dollars. If you want to do 10%, I can do a total loan amount of $5 million. Sound. So basically, think about it as a bank that has no interest and that doesn't mind if it goes to illegal activities. All cash, no questions. While you're pulling that money out, you should give me a paycheck. Is that right? You relax. Yeah. So basically what I'm offering is I'm offering for 5%, sure. I'm offering a million dollars, uh, a loan amount, which so they need money. 10%. I'm sorry. 10%. 10%. And mm -hmm. uh, we're looking at a $5 million loan amount then. So anytime you guys need any funding or anything, you just come to me and we can make it happen. Okay. Absolutely. Sounds good to me. Okay. Is uh, any other owners of this or is it just you? Uh, so you got Johnny Corona and um, I've forgotten the current name of the owner. Um, they own most of the percentage. We just pretty much own a small percentage of uh, protections and things like that through the bowlers. We pretty much go in and run it. Okay, works for me. So uh, yep. again, now let's let's go ahead and do some swapping of contacts here. I'll, I'll take your number and then I'll also give it to my bodyguard here so he has it as well. Yep, no problem. Okay, hold on one sec. Okay. I'm ready when you are. That's what she said. Good. There you go. Did, did she say that to you? I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, sometimes she says that. Okay, 695-1663. There okay. we go. Okay. Obviously, if you ever need any... Uh, if you've got any locations that you need help protecting, like I said, we protect a lot of uh, LTD and 24-7 locations as it is. Um, so if you ever need any other locations there, need protecting from gangs or anything like that, let us know. Uh, we also protect the one in Mirror Park, the LTD in Mirror Park. Fantastic. I do appreciate it. Uh, let me get you my contact number. Give me one sec. No problem. I believe you're associate of, um, the 24 seven, uh, Chloe Pringle. She basically pays our fees and everything. Um, for protection and stuff as it is. Absolutely, yes, I do know her. About arranging of that. Yeah. Got a pretty good deal going on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to remember this. I'm going to take a picture really quick. Hold on. Uh, let's Sir, do... Your uh, challenger is at 803 when you wish to pick it up. It is all nice and detailed and dealt with. I appreciate that. We'll swoop after this and go get it. I do appreciate that. We were yeah, gonna blow it up, but thanks for the hard <laughs> That's work. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, one two one. Was it what five you nine three three. It's gonna be burned anyway, if not. Okay, there's my uh, business card with my number on it. My name's Don Ron. I believe I texted you off my number yeah, as well too. Yeah, I've yeah I've met you a few times. Okay. And then uh, so. and again, did you transfer over yours? I uh, I actually put the number in and I called her, so it should be in her recents. Okay. All right, Miss Mendel. Like I do appreciate the time and uh, the business opportunity. We hope to be speaking soon. Anytime. You take oh. it. Oh. All right. Have a good one. Finnegan, relax. Yeah, hey, I don't know. All right. Bye. Thank you. All right, Mr. Bodyguard. Have a good day. Hey, I wasn't talking to you. Not you, dumbass. I was talking to their bodyguard. All right, bartender. Good whiskey. You have a good one. Hey, well. bartender, I really did it this time. Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> I swear to God. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's kill go. the music. Where's my car? Oh, uh, your car. Oh, no, is... I was asking my bodyguard. Thank you. I appreciate well, it. It's over there, Mr. Thank you. You're welcome. Damn, sometimes that's exactly why I do cooking right there. Yeah, just well, kidding. this is why I just shove it in my ear instead of snorting it. Oh. Okay. Here, you drive okay. to the car. I got to oh. use the uh, restroom outside of my head really quick, so. Okay. And then uh, you'll drive that car to where we're going, and god damn it. Look what oh, you've done. Oh, your car, not mine. I know. So this is actually going to be a part two like we just saw not too long ago in another DOJ video. Uh, I kind of finished that episode, and then I was like, okay, well, I want to add a little more to it. 
So I was thinking what we could do is go around and give some money away. Since we've started all these business adventures and we're able to actually get our hands in some stuff, a, a bigger slice of the pie, I guess you could say, it would be nice to go around and spend like a million dollars so that way we can just give some money away. And again, the fuck are uh, you going? Your mom toast. I don't think she lives in the strip club. Oh, you don't think so? I know so, actually. So I was oh. thinking for part two or here, we can go around and give away like a million dollars worth of money. Are we nice people like that though? <laughs> I mean, if I have my, I have a, I have a bigger slice of the pie, so I might as well give away oh. some up to a million dollars worth of money. So depending on if I like the person when I walk up to them, oh. depends on how much money they'll get. If only I had a paycheck. You know. Yeah, not yet. You still got to prove yourself. Oh. <sighs> maybe one day. Maybe one yeah, day. Yeah, one day. One day when one I One day. See so you. have you seen anyone we'll, on the way we'll here? Be in court. Uh, no, actually, I uh, woke up in the garbage can right on the other side of this alleyway, actually, so... Oh, nice. Seems uh, fun. I didn't really get too far. All right, well, I say we drive around and uh, attempt to find someone that's not a cop. All right, yeah, we don't want a cop. Sound like a plan? Uh, it does. All Is right. anybody in here? No. Oh. Why do you think I said, where the fuck are you going? There's nothing well, in there. Well, I figured your mom was in there. Well, you could say hi on the phone. Oh, uh, she didn't answer. Oh, well, then she doesn't like you. Sorry. Oh. Sucks to suck for him. So that's the game plan here. We're going to attempt to find us some people to give some money to. Well, you know, a little 360 here. Make him money, give him money. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got motherfucking 5-0. Five 5-0 -oh. Five -oh rolling in. Oh, shit. What do you mean, where at, you blind bat? Hazards are on. No, they're not. Not yours, dumbass. There's a lot of fucking cars out right now. I need to find me some people so that way we can give away some money. Up to like a million dollars worth of money. So if we like the first person we come across, you know, maybe like $200,000 just straight up off the bat. Cash app that shit. And, uh, you know, if we really like someone, then we give them like 500000 If we hate them, we'll just give them like $5. You know what I'm saying? Just really fuck with them a little. Uh, I should probably go back to the strip club, though. That way we can wait for Finnegan to get back. Oh, what is that god-awful ringtone? So quick. It's so bad. Hello? Hello, clown. Oh, my phone settings got reset. I can only use Mall the... All of mine are changed, too. Yeah. Oh, and the ringtone sucks. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go back to the strip club. Okay, I'm here. All right. I'll see you in a second. All right. Okay, so I've got to fix that. I'm not exactly sure why it got reset. Everything seems to be saved with the characters and all that, but uh, looks as if the ringtone and special settings that I had set up are no longer that way which is just fantastic so we're gonna switch that before we get out on the road here and start handing out some money the mirror park 24 7 is actually open so we're gonna go down there i was thinking it would actually be kind of cool to like be the boss but then also give the worker like just a shit ton of money so it could be like a two for one we're obviously doing it because we have some new business adventures that made us you know gain some more money and stuff like that but also we could just go ahead and make someone's day a little bit better here over at the uh 24 7 by hooking them up with some money. I'm just letting y'all know now I do have a headache for the second part of this, uh, oh, sh shit balls. Oh, shit balls, shit balls, shit balls. Run, run, run. Oh, he's pulling over. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. I gotta get to the mirror park, bro. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, Finnegan got rolled on. Yep, and there goes the phone call. Hello, Spoonbill. Get your goofy ass over what? here. That's not no. gonna happen. Yeah, get you your again. fucking goofy Can ass you, over excuse here. Excuse me? Hold on, what? Spoon Bill, one sec. Excuse me, who do you think you are? I'm you. You're not me. You're about to be fired. Get the fuck out of my face. Okay. Anyway, sorry about that, Spoon Bill. Go ahead. Yeah, can you come back over? Oh, Finnegan, by the way. Can you come oh, back sorry. over here? Um, uh, I'm going to be pulled over because of your mistakes. Yes, I know, which they... Um, I'm, at the, uh, I'm at the business right now, and let's just say that they um, got some... They got some LEO here for me already, okay? So I'm not going to be able oh. to go anywhere. <laughs> oh. Hello. How are you doing? My boss is here. The CEO is here. All right. Here. Good luck. It's not looking good for me. Uh, yeah. How hold on one second. How can I do right. today? Cool. I need to talk to the person driving that Challenger there. Which one? Oh, yeah. So, uh, might, might be a minute. I would just say come up here when you, uh... I'm, I'm going to see if he'll let that. Hey, boss. Okay. So we can... All right. All right. I'll, I'll talk all right. to you in all a right. second. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Hey, uh, some people want you, boss. Thing. Uh, you can send him back here. Okay. This is not gonna be you good, go bro. Go ahead and come back. <laughs> Thank you. This Perfect. is not gonna be good. Oh shit. Okay, here they are. boss man. Hello. You. 
You realize we got a st traffic stop on you outside, right? I had no idea. Well, we do, because we caught you going 84, caught in around Merritt Park. Oh, sure, I can give you my ID. No, oh, that was me. That. Wait, you were the one running around Merritt Park? Well, I know you were running around Merritt Park, but uh, Mr. Don Ron, I believe. No, I literally okay. just got into Merritt Park, so I've, I haven't been in yeah. Merritt Park. Okay, yeah, we had a unit call you out. Okay, so well, go fancy. Excuse me? I said that's fancy. Well, you're the only fancy one I'm looking at I, here. You're goddamn I'm pretty fucking fancy. right. What about me? I'm fancy. All right, well, I'll be uh, here, so. Okay. I'm going to go get this round, and okay, then I'll go okay. grab the ticket book if you just want to type with them. Yeah, well. Yes, fresh hey. produce. I'm going to need 71 eggs, seven things Jeez. of cabbage. Uh, we need some more cereal. We just need all of them. If you can go ahead and just restock those as well, too. We need fruit. Oh, uh, do you? <clears throat> Yes, badly. Go man the counter. Yes, sir. Aye, aye, Captain Sir thing. God damn it, I'm surrounded by fucking idiots, bro. Yeah, charge it to the company account. Okay, fantastic. Goodbye. Hey, he's got to run to the flight, flight risk. Uh, okay, uh, did he have Mr. Donron's ID here? I, he I, should. I don't know. I handed I, it let to me him. Go, let me go check him down. You're Don Ron, aren't you? I sure am. Perfect. Do you want me to turn off your engine, sir? Captain? No, thank you, but I do appreciate it. I like to keep it warm. Anytime. How's your day going? I mean, it could be better if the cops don't want to keep stopping me. Hey, if it makes you I feel I wonder if I'm going to get I out just... of this ticket now. I, well, that I might actually be possible. My arm looks broken in this fucking chair, too. Not going to lie. So are you just checking up on all the businesses or this one? Because you're kind of freaking me out. You I am here. just walked in and said, fuck it. I am oh, here I because I'm here. I like your company. I appreciate it. No. So he's definitely not gonna so get it. that you called Spoonbill? Uh, oh, no. God. And again. Oh God. Oh God, my buddy Jermaine. No. I don't even know what the fuck that even means, but okay. I don't know either. I'm just trying to start a conversation with you. Is it working? Not really. No. Well, not at all. Sitting here waiting to get my ticket so that way I can leave. Which I think no. I'm about to get it right now. Please don't leave. Oh, I'm going to leave. Don't you fucking worry. Videos. Don't actually. All right, Mr. Ron, here's your ID back. One second, really? Finn, Finnegan. Sorry, go ahead, officer. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, my officer didn't really get you on camera. He couldn't really identify you, but uh, just in case you were speeding, just be mindful of the speed. I'm not going to write you any ticket or anything since I, since I didn't see you speeding. Oh, we got away with that. Okay, sounds good. I do appreciate it. I'll watch that speed. Yes, sir. Y'all have a good one and try not to drive too fast. Have a 24 uh, I will. Day. Thank you. You as well. Hey, are you behind the counter today? Uh, yes, way? Finnegan. Yeah. I uh, assuming hey, you're not getting arrested. Coffee. That is a big negative. No, Go why? I it. assume oh, you are. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. no, no it's good. not from. There's like 12 cops lined up in like a code 5 position right now. Oh. But that's, that's besides good. the point. Uh, are they going to let you go? Uh, I think so. They're all uh, getting, assuming they think I'm gonna run, but I already told them I'm not, so they can just calm down. Okay, but well, they're all the, uh, they're all a little. Stupid. Is not gonna be getting any money, so why? Oh, you! If you know who it was, you would also agree with me. Oh, I'll be up there in a minute. I'll put okay, my two okay. cents into it. Be ready to stare okay. into the mirror. Oh. <laughs> all right. We'll see you soon. Bye bye. All right. Kill him now. Uh huh. Ah, uh, before I. Okay, we're just gonna hang up on him. Ah, so yes, how's it going? Is that the mirror image? Oh right yeah, there? go have a conversation with him. You'll figure it out real quick. Why? Uh oh, what's his name? I have no fucking idea. Oh, we call why? him what? Finnegan number two. Oh. Actually, no, sorry, we call him Spoonbill number two. Oh, I'm gonna kill him. Go ahead, go have a chat. With I him. thought it was a mirroring I image of no, you. No, not because. No, 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 no. Go oh, chat with him. Oh. Uh, oh. I mean, you could say a little, but not not as much as he's gonna see here. This is gonna be good. Hi. All he had to do was say hello. I know, right? I tried to tell you. What do you mean? <laughs> so good. What do you mean? Talking like everything's a question mark and shit. Like, oh, you got me fucked up, bro. Holy shit. Hey, uh, doctor. Yeah. How's it going? Oh, just Can you great. come over here? Yeah, tell me your story. 
Actually, no. I would like to book an appointment for this guy named Bill Spoon. He needs uh, a colonoscopy. He does. Yeah. No, 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 really, though. Tell me your story. How long have you been a doctor? Uh, pretty new to it. Only been doing it for like, what, three years now? What do you specialize in? What do you make fingers? as a doctor? Uh, ears, noses, eyes. I'm not going to use the real term, but I am a foot doctor. Okay, why do oh, they not make much or something? Or pictures? Uh, well, I mean, I've got med school debt to pay off for the next like 40 years of my life. Okay, so how much is the med school debt? This might work. Uh, well, it's about 400,000 total. Ah, oh, you hear that? That's lightweight. You hear that, Finnegan? $400,000 total. That's the change That's I have on the floorboard so what, of my car. Uh, so what happens once you pay it off? What, you just continue to go to school or? Uh, pretty much. We trained for like our entire lives. But I see. after that, I get like. I'm going to give this guy $400,000. Nice okay, all right, all right. Well, uh, all right, here, I'll tell you what. It's been a good business adventure for me for the past week here. So what's your uh, what's your cash app? Okay, so uh, my name is Don. I own the 24-7 and LTD franchise incorporated. I also own 10% of the Vanilla Unicorn. I'm sure you know about that place. I also own 49% of the uh, casino as well. So we've had some pretty good business adventures. So we want to go ahead. Oh, this is Finnegan, my bodyguard, by the way, just to introduce him as well. And what'd you say your name was? My name is Elijah Corona. We got a wild Elijah fog. Corona? Carenta. Carenta. Okay, well, nice to meet you, Elijah. So. Is that a and, wild uh, cock? Me and my uh, colleague here are going to be paying for your medical school, okay? So once you get done with all that fun shit, go ahead, become rich, but then I want you to come see me again, okay? Thank you so much. Uh, do you need a Yo. personal doctor or anything? Well, that's what I'm talking about right there. I'm going to give you my card, and then you're going to give your number to my bodyguard here. And if anything ever goes south when we're out on the field and we can't go to a regular doctor, you're going to be the man that we call, okay? Absolutely. But that means anything that we might come with, may it be gun holes, stab wounds, stays between us. All right, here's my business card. Even if it's cutting, and never mind. Yeah, I don't know where he's going with that, but uh, okay. Now go ahead and relay your information to him. That way we have it and can uh, access it for the future. Oh, this is good, dude. We just scored a fucking doctor. Okay, I do not want to deal with the chicken coop game, but what's it's going on? It's a wild cock, don't worry. No, today, sir, I'm simply doing my holy duties. It's fucking gummer. Like I want to say he was just doing LEO, and yes, now he's fucking uh, the chicken. Can you, can you write your number down on this piece of paper, please, so I don't have to go through the troubles and struggles of trying to type it or put it in my phone? All right, Donis. All right, Elijah, thank you so much for the time. Hopefully your medical school pays off in the end of the day, and uh, we'll, we'll be using your services in the future, okay? Anytime you need something, right do you, do you specialize in throats like cutting? I swear to God, I'm gonna out. kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Uh, I can't. I have a patient. Pretty sure that he specializes in fixing a cut throat instead of cutting the throat. Yeah. Yo, hey, go. You gotta pay for that shit. Yes, I'm gonna pay for it, but as you can see, I don't have. Okay, my Elijah, thank you so much. We appreciate it. You have a good one. Absolutely. He's thieving yes, from your hey. store, Donna. Excuse me? Yo. He's thieving hey. from your store. What the okay. fuck are you doing? Come back we in. Have to scan their shit. You can't just take it. Oh, what? Are you stealing my okay, I product? I've... He's stealing the product. Salutations. Criminal. Yeah, I'm, no. if I'm not mistaken, crap and shits talked to me and said that there was a man in a chicken outfit who stole my shit before. I want him the yes, wild sir. Talk. Are you that man? And I apologize. I'm I deeply sorry. Well, about then that. take my motherfucking box and put it back. No, I'm going to buy it, but if I walk out of the store with a box in my hand, how do you think I'm going to possibly be able to reach for my wallet? Depends you set it down. Then take Council. your wallet out right now and better pay for all that shit, but it also okay, has to well, be scanned. Okay, well, who am I paying it to? You could pay it to cash register Clerk. 375. Clerk, go Perfect. handle the counter so that way people can go in and out. Why is there a doctor? Okay, so in 375, how much Bodyguard. is going to be all of your fucking belt products? And yeah, they need to they scan it. We need to, yeah, exactly. It's the entirety of the shipment. How much does that cost? I don't know if I don't have that shipment. Is. Remove it from you if you don't place it okay, back. Okay, what is Happy Go Lucky over <laughs> here? I'm gonna slaughter you and I'm gonna eat you for dinner. What Sounds you? like chicken. Can you put that down, please. We no. will put it down. This Let us scan it. He will go and scan it on the second the register, of and then we'll put it back, and you pay for it. Simple as that. Do you have anything else in your pockets or persons that we should know about? 
Yes, I have a lot, but please give me a second. I'm on do the phone you with have, the police. Do you have product of mine in yeah, your pockets? I always have products of yours. Okay, well then relinquish it so we can scan it and then get you out of here. If you call the police, I can assure you that it will end bad for you. Not going to be gobbling your little gizzard there too long, buddy. Gobbling your little gizzard. I don't even know what the fuck that means. Okay, uh, you know the go scan okay. the okay. stuff. Yes, I'm at 580 yeah. currently. I'm trying to purchase my really products, but then all of a sudden I I'm a I was not expecting. At least I got what I wanted. Hold on me. I need the police immediately. What? Why is he doing? Why is Thank he running? You, now, if I may continue my business transactions without you may take the product out of your pocket and you can hand it to me and I can get it scanned so you can pay for it. Well, I believe somebody has already stolen from me and henceforth stolen from you. Well, no, that's a uh, that's actually my clerk that took the box and is now scanning said product at the register. Ah, oh, perfect. Men of the law. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm going to show you how this is going to go, my friend. Ah, oh, my friend, I greatly appreciate it. I can assure it, you, so just because you the called same. the police first doesn't mean they're going to listen to you. Well, if they don't listen to me, Here, I'll even let them explain them. your side first. Go ahead and talk to these fine Thank gentlemen. You. All right, well, what's, dear, deputy. what's going on, folks? So, I <laughs> was made aware... That I was made aware. Open for business, ...and that they have recently received a shipment of Plug and Bell products. I hastily made my way over here in the name of Crusade and Vengeance. I <laughs> Crusade and Vengeance all the items also Vengeance. Because my hands were presently very full at the time, I took the products to my van, placed the box inside, and when I attempted to go back into the store, the man turn. that just walked out with the 24-7 cap accosted me, took the box back, and would not let me pay for the product. I got cameras. And the man in red here, who is very nice, I do not have a quarrel with him, <laughs> but it's the it fact is. that the man next to him with the earpiece and the funky looking attitude decided <laughs> to pull a gun on me, attitude. and I was in very much fear of my life, so he was making threats about eating me and my kind. So I would okay. like All right, just so to be so let me, just I'm just, let me, just so I keep this straight, you... Were you you got a box? Of May products, I explain right? my side before you explain yours, officer? Absolutely sure. Okay, I am Don. Okay, Mr. Ron, right. CEO and owner of the Twenty Four Seven and LTD Incorporated. Okay. Okay. So as I was sitting here, I saw this gentleman leave my store with a box of product, and there was multiple associates of mine telling him to stop because it had to be paid for. I then interjected myself on what was going on and told him he needs to have the product scanned, which he refused, basically saying to me, and I witnessed him leave the store with product that wasn't scanned and wasn't paid for. Uh, he said to me that his hands were full, so he had to set down the box in his car. And I told my associate to grab said box from vehicle. He brought it in to start scanning it so the gentleman could pay for said box. Upon that conversation ending, I asked him if he had any more property of mine inside of his pockets, and he said he has a lot more property in his pockets. And I said, okay, well, why don't you go ahead and relinquish that so we can get that scanned for, and you can pay for it as well. And at that time when he was being, uh, I guess you could say, uncooperative, my associate here, my bodyguard, did pull his weapon, but kept it in a downward manner the whole time since he was refusing to relinquish stolen property from my store. Uh, and okay. then that's when you guys rolled up to this, uh, to this call here. Okay. The mere right. presence so, of that firearm. All right. Is from my all right. So both of you are done talking. So I just want to make sure I got this right. So you went in there, got a product, came out here, put it in your van, and wanted to go pay A for box it. full of products. And so we got a big misunderstanding. Yes. But, okay. So here's the point, though. Did you, did he cross a point of purchase? What does that even mean? $50 the point, of, point of purchase, meaning it is he can literally put as many things as he wants in his pockets in that store. It is not shoplifting until he goes out that front door, yeah, he passes, the the door. Regi he took, passes the register, and does not pay. He so took he a full box of product of and okay. took it out to his vehicle and set it in the car without going to the register. Okay. Alrighty. And not that I'm discounting both of you, but I don't want to be he said, she said. You have CCTV footage to back up your claims. I believe I the interior the is operable. All these okay. I'm merely here and, uh, to request I see the presence that. of law. Hey, hey this guy wants to buy the box full. of chicken right now. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, your products are getting purchased. I think the oh, issue lies in the fact that he not only took a full box full of products, but then also shoved other items yeah. into his pockets yeah. as well, which I believe he still okay. has in there. 
Okay. Well, of course I so still have them in there. I bought them earlier. I'm also okay. concerned about his reasoning saying he could not access his pockets when he simply could have set down the hmm. box on the counter. Okay, I that would have spoiled the counter. Listen, do you really want to clean the chicken juice off of that? DPS, <laughs> do you want to go take this guy over there by the, by the gas Everything can in my van is scotch guarded. Sir, come on over here with the guard. Right, so go stand over by the gas. Just so I understand, sir, your name. Okay. So can I just have mm -hmm. the CCTV footage so we? Can I can show this you. Thing. Yes, I can bring you okay. in there and you can rewind it. Uh, there's All one right. camera. It's in the corner, but it's facing out the window here. So you'll have everything that happened in the store and then also what happened outside. I'd say I'm very happy. And I also got yeah. a personal doctor now. Oh yeah. So that's a that's a win win. Yeah. Also, Finnegan, I could probably turn this whole thing into its own little episode, probably. Oh, yeah, probably. It's, it's escalated a lot farther than I was we're, expecting. We're like half an hour we're past We're 40 minutes, minutes into this bitch. <laughs> Anyways, how's, how's your, uh, your day going? I mean, it's going good. Uh, see, now this is the thing is, too, though. I'm going to be honest with you. This guy in the chicken hat, I was... Uh, you, you guys know uh, Director mm -hmm. Crap and Shits, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. No director crap and shits. Okay, so I spoke with him. It he's was a real maybe asshole. Like, yeah, he's a piece of shit. I spoke I to him think like. He's uh, a pretty nice guy. Oh, well, thank you. Good I'll be sure to tell him that. I'll, uh, I spoke to him like two weeks ago, okay? And he said that this guy came into my store and did the same exact thing two weeks ago. The chicken man? The chicken fucking man. Oh, really? I did That's never trust someone with a chicken on their head. I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Crap and Shit said he was in the store and he saw the guy leave, but then he had some other type of extreme call come out and he had to leave and could not deal with the petty theft situation. That would make right. sense. Crap and so he's just a shoplifter is what I'm hearing. It seems to be repetitive. See, now this is the thing. is no, He's going don't. around and he's trying to take all the chicken product out and do some shit with the chicken oh. product. So, I, I don't even want to know what he's doing with the chicken. I don't fucking I'll know at honest. this point. But oh times say, I'm hoping in a couple boy. weeks, a couple months here. I mean, shit. Sooner uh, rather than later, you know what I mean? I don't you. Hey, how you really we definitely will be hiring. Hopefully we get some uh, staff in there for the games and all that stuff. Maybe some food, oh, yeah. staff, all that. Oh. Maybe valet. Oh, yeah, I know. I feel it. Uh, okay, I'm well, when they open that. up, uh, right. submit the app or just come down to my office at the top of the casino. Oh, okay. I'm completely peaceful All right, and hold it down here. You're not cooperative. That's funny. I'll try. I really want to thank him by Well, sometimes you get called in even though you don't want it. I'm here 24-7. See that pun? Ha ha. Ah, there it is. Kill him. That's great. I, I would. Him. I would if there were I'm going to get gas fin again and then we can take off. the chicken. You can take my card. Shut up. Why would Somebody I take your card when I own the uh, gas station? Minimum wage. <laughs> like, what the yeah. fuck? Gomer, you're not only going to get a ticket now for pay. Oh, he might actually get it. Oh, Finnegan just hit the goddamn cop car, bro. I think it was definitely not what he meant to have happen. More of like a glitch or something like that. But no bueno. Let's get the fuck out of here before we get fucked with even more with all the shit that's going on. I actually like this son of a bitch. We were going fast too, bro. But he's he was headed somewhere, so... <laughs> Ah, uh, what a piece of shit. Can't do nothing about it. Ooh, Diamond Casino be looking nice and fresh, dude. Hell yeah. We're putting all of our businesses to use, and I absolutely love it, dude. Going, God damn it! what is this? Internet sucks today, bro. What the fuck is going on? Your internet sucking today, or what's up? Oh my um, god, what the <laughs> fuck? I'm just trash. Oh, you popped the, uh... Fire extinguisher. Oh. That's what it made that pop. That was kind of dope, though. I know, I'm pretty good at what I do. Are you, though? Kinda. Yeah? Oh, man, another day. What's the quick way to get there? I'll show you. Follow me. It's been like fucking weeks since I've been here. So yeah, we were able to kind of put the uh, the money to use. We paid for that guy's Whoa. doctor bills, which is kind of cool. Kind of dry in here. It does. What the fuck? It looks so different. Why? Because uh, there's no lights on the walls. Ah, is that what changes it up? Yeah. Well, why'd they turn the lights off? Do we not pay the electrical bill? Uh, something like that. Well, goddamn. Yeah, and the wheels not lit up. It was kind of sad shit, man. Sure, when this where are you going? I'm looking at the machines.
Well, at least we got to do what I wanted to do was uh, give away some money. It wasn't a million yeah. dollars, but shit, 400000 off top. Oh, you only gave him 400000 Well, I just paid for his medical bills. That's all it was, 400000 wow. in debt. Here we are. I'd say that's not too shabby. Yeah. Uh, I feel like my office is this way, yeah? I feel like this isn't the office. Um, no, uh -huh. it is. It is. It is. You got to go this way through the double doors. That leads oh, to the yeah, hallway. See what I told you? Yeah, what'd you say? Yeah, I know what I was doing. Ah, uh, here it is. Been a uh. minute. Smells different. Huh. I, I gotta learn to cut my fucking engine off. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be where we wrap it up in this episode of DOJRP. Getting in with Don, Ron, and Finnegan, the bodyguard. Making moves, man. Doing business stuff and, and giving away money that to people weird. that really need it. So, I mean, that was accurate. Uh, so that's going to be where we wrap it up, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of DOJRP, and we will see you next video.